Eli, how did you know that you were a filmmaker and not a film watcher? Hmm, that's a really good question. So that was kind of like the thing that I was going through at San Francisco State. Is that maybe I don't know enough about this technology. Maybe I should just, maybe I should go on and get a PhD. Like that was something that I was seriously considering. Um, but for whatever reason, I don't know how you know, other than you keep having the, um, the drive to make something. I think that's probably the the test. Like you know, one of the things I tell the students, you know, they they kind of don't know what they're getting themselves into the first time they make even just a short film. Um, and so when it's all over and they're stressed out and they feel like their movie's not as good as it could have been or it's not what they wanted to make because it's a movie. Um, and I tell them that that's the test. The test is though. You went through all that stress. It was incredibly hectic. Uh, you ultimately feel like the film could be better, which is what everybody thinks after they make a movie. Um, so you're not 100% happy with the finished product. But the test is if you wake up in a couple days or a couple weeks in a couple months or a couple months and you want to make something again, then you want to be a filmmaker, you know? Um, and so the, the drive to like, Oh, I, I, I'm interested in this. I'm interested in using the camera to try to, I don't know, get at ideas or tell stories or um, project some perspective of the world. Um, if that doesn't go away, and it hasn't gone away yet, <laughs> um, that's that's how I knew. But I mean, it was there was a question of this, you know, in those moments like I was describing, where, oh my God, they all know more than I do. Um, and there's something about just filmmaking um, because it's so heavily tilted towards men or guys and they are so full of, can be, not all guys, can be so full of bravado and trying to prove themselves. Um, film sets are so full of guys trying to prove how much they know, what they've done. and. Um, so that can be really intimidating, like that, oh, I don't know as much as these guys. They're talking about a lens that I don't know anything about. They're talking about something with a camera. They're talking about something with a dolly shot that I don't know anything about. Um, and so that can make you go, oh, okay, this is not, I'll just be the guy who, maybe I'll write reviews <laughs> or whatever, or I'll, I'll write a, do a dissertation on Mike Lee films because I love Mike Lee or whatever. Um, and, um, but then the, oh, this is an idea. I mean, I should write that down. You know, you start writing something. The, the great thing about, um, you know, if you, if you are a, um, like me, I consider myself like a writer director. I write my own stuff and I, and I make it. Nobody can stop me. There's nothing stopping me from writing a script. There's nothing stopped, like that doesn't cost any money. It's just my time and if I'm, um, I'm enjoying it and I feel like it's interesting and it can turn into something, then I can just do that. And then I can make the decision whether or not I want to try to make it, you know? Um, that, I don't know, that's still, that still holds a lot of pleasure for me. If it stops, if it's not, it's not pleasurable anymore, I'll stop doing it because filmmaking is too hard. <laughs> filmmaking is way too hard to do something that's not like, you're not getting anything out of it. It doesn't feel it's not fun. It doesn't feel like um, you're doing anything interesting. You know.